What's going on, Bushidos Bros? Welcome back to Guild 3. I let some time go by, uh, maybe about like eight hours or so. And uh, we're now down to $4,198, or coins, I should say. So we're actually net positive, finally. Uh, we're only making like 1080 after uh, we pay tax and employee wages. So we're not too bad <clears throat> right now in the hole. Um, we're getting a lot of reputation. I noticed that too while I was kind of taking a break to eat and looking at things. Getting better at our jobs and stuff like that. So, um, in the meantime, let's raise some charisma levels here. And, uh, let's look at the yeoman title. I don't want to get resident just yet. However, I do want to get Preacher 2. And let's see what possibilities now that we can have here. So, uh, it looks like Game Believer's Sermon and Hold a Church Service in the Village is now unlocked. Which is great. I think the church service is the one that will um, give us the most profit. Ever since we got daggers, the pickpocketers don't mess with us now. So, not knock on wood here. Hopefully it'll stay that way. Can we upgrade our... No, we cannot. Church service. Let's, let's go look. Go in the building yet? It looks like can't go in the building just yet. What's church service gonna do? The people see so yeah, that's what I miss about it. I miss people coming into the church and having a service, but it looks like they're going outside and doing it, so got ninety four, so I think that's how we're gonna increase our income here. Um I don't know if people come by and do and go into the church. Looks like you no, know, I wish they did. That's the one thing. That's the one criticism I'll give on that. I kind of wish people would come into the church and uh you don't even have to show me inside the church. You can just have people just come into the church and feel like they're actually there, right? So we're doing good right now. Uh, let's go ahead and repair our building here. It looks like we took a little bit of damage from all the blizzards of winter. <laughs> Get a drink of water. Holy water, that is. And, um... I think we're going to expand today. Uh, let's get into... Barber would be cool. I want to do herb teas though. <clears throat> Let's do barber. Scholar gets two things, so we're gonna do it. Let's go ahead and upgrade to barber two. All right, so we got barber two ready to go. We're gonna need to make a little bit of gold here, uh, so we can. Uh, we're not worried about it because we don't really have high society people here, uh, like the description said. So I think this dude's messing with my wife. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this dude's messing with my wife. Unfortunately. Yeah, holding a service is awesome. Giving us a lot more gold than uh, all the regular stuff. But it's kind of cool they, they, they come here and uh, pray kind of thing. What would be even cooler is if people would gather right here and uh, you get more money based on how many people gather up. But 
And again, I don't know how religion and this will go. Cross it. Non religious, non religious. Protestant. Yeah, a lot of people seem to be Protestant, it looks like. But I want this barbershop for sure. We're almost there. We're really close. Then we're gonna have just uh, regular workers work the uh, barber shop. <clears throat> Patient going up. Lisa uh, Scotter and Addison Clifton. already actually that's great all right let's pop a barber's hut down um we're gonna call it <clears throat> we're gonna call it fine cuts and we're gonna need some flowers and stuff so i say we put it about right here i'll be okay right there Okay, so we cannot own any more businesses unless we get down to, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> um, resident. So we got to get down to resident. So while that building is going up, let's get our next move here. So citizens required to do things in the city. I think we're going to go herbalist before we get to that point because herb tea is just so good. And then we have a way to heal our own people too. So <clears throat> let's see how Barber plays out first. And uh, we'll, we'll determine, that'll determine our next steps. I don't think a barber thing will be good here because if you're in a city with a bunch of nobles, they won't go, I don't think. Barber's just for the low peasants like us. All right, let's check out the barber's hut. So um, it looks good in the start. It kind of looks to me like a craft house kind of thing. <clears throat> May need a transporter. Yeah, we're gonna need a transporter. Wild roses, jasmine, jasmine oil. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of people. Okay, let's go ahead and hire two workers. Uh, we're not gonna do any family members on this for now. Um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Okay, we need jasmine and wild rose. Do Jasmine. Wild Rose. So I don't see a way to put it on. Production works keep going through the same order list and only limit. Okay, so that's fine. All right, so I think this is what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna do this instead. Let's clear this. We're gonna make this more efficient. So they can carry 40, it looks like. So let's do 40 of this. 40 of this. Then after they're done with that. This requires one of each. So let's do 40 that, and then they'll just repeat. Oh, oh we did 39. Rip. I think we can just type it in. Yeah, we'll just... All 
All right, <clears throat> we'll do 40 of that, 40 of that, 40 of that. And then rose water requires honey. It's selling for 66 at Watford and 55 at Maidstone. Honey produced rose water, the result is a beverage that combines both the bean, give it a try. Grease paint. This red paint paste is applied to the lips. Some ladies even look at the eyes, and yes, some men will even put on this paint. Requires jasmine oil and bats. And then of course we also have attend customers, uh, which they give baths and haircuts to customers, so uh what we're going to do, though, for sure, is we are going to uh, get some bags for our collectors so they can carry more goods. And I think uh, I think having 40 of stuff would be fine. We'll increase this. Uh, let's just get into barber soap for now. Um, and then that way we can give haircuts and get re people ready to bathe and stuff. So it looks like we've already got some money going. Let's, uh, sorry about that. Let's get, um, let's get some employees rolling in here. It's going to break us, but we'll be okay. And, um. Looks like we're doing good on that. We're gonna to need to invest in some bags for sure. And then I think we'll be ready to go. They're collecting that. Let's let them do their thing. Still doing our thing with the church. Eventually we will pull out and not do anything at the church and kind of just go about our own way here. So far, we're doing really good. Herb Hut's going to be interesting to do. I still got to get used to these new symptoms or the new uh, thing. So another thing that uh, was introduced into this patch was the uh, leasing of these lumber yards. So this will come in handy uh, when we get to doing craftsman playthroughs. Uh, but what you do is you, I don't know if this works now. Hopefully it does. But if we place a bid war and we and we win this, we own it for one turn, uh, which is a season. So we can produce a lot of goods there. So um, we will see that, like I was saying, we will see that more in the um, pay, or cap craftsman playthrough. And we could definitely see some of it in the craftsman playthrough. We'll see it a little bit on this playthrough so we can have some extra money going on those. But right now we don't have the capital to do that just yet. So we need to get this going too, or it's not going to work. So All right, I think we have enough to hire another worker. So let's do that. I think this is just the number of times that they go out and collect rope. They'll collect it. Yeah. All right. So let's redo this. So now that we know it's the amount of times they go out, we're just going to redo this and set it in looping order. So I want two orders of wild roses and I want two orders of Jasmine. Then I want two. 30 orders of the soap. I want to do 60. Let's do 60. So keep up with the crafters. There we go. We'll do 60 of those. We're going to have a ton of wild rose to let left over. So we can probably throw some honey in there too. Oh, we can't get honey. Rip. We're going to have to order it. Okay. We can make jasmine oil and we can definitely can get bat oil. Oh. So. All right, so it's working. That's awesome. And it's all tied to um Yeah, it's all tied to their bag space. 
So if we increase their bags, we increase efficiency, basically. Okay. So yeah, I can get used to it. I don't like it, but I can get used to it. Okay. So what we can do here... This out. Now that I get it. Go ahead and say loop. And dismiss these. Let's have... Um, let's have two people gaining believers. Loop it. Um, we'll have one delivering a sermon and one doing, uh, churches. We'll, we'll change this to, um, where they just loop in here, but let's do it to that. Cause gaining believers is better in my opinion. So as long as we're gaining believers, we're fine. Um, you can see them now collecting stuff in the forest now, which is really cool. Cause used to, they would just enter it and then you'll never see them again. So that's good. Um, I think our next investment will be bags. So let's see how much a bag is real quick. Determine our next steps. The I think it's under transport. Yeah, there's a carrying bag. Carrying bags are cheap. They're not that expensive anymore. Well, I know what I'm doing. All right. Let's send... Um, let's send everybody, and then we'll resume work. Why are they moving? Oh, I got it on times, too. I was like, man, why are they moving so fast? Duh. They're... Back to work. You can go back to work. Thank you. You can get one as well. And then back to work. Perfect. All right. Now we need a transporter. We're, we're, we're accomplishing things. We're accomplishing things. So now, uh, the way it's going to be set up now, those carrying bags is going to add some extra space. <clears throat> So, I think now they're going to get 60. Yeah, there's 60 stuff right there. So now they can carry 60 things. But we'll, uh, they're going to run out of space really quick. So we're going to need somebody making soap here. So we'll have to, I'll have to determine the math formula just a little bit better here, but Usually when they run out of stuff to do, they'll go ahead and actually uh, um, move on to the next thing and start collecting. So what they're going to do is like we're going to send two people out collecting 60 of uh, Jasmine and then 60 of Wild Rose. <clears throat> and then um, they're going to make 60 of these. They only make one. So they're going to take 60 of these items and make soap. Um, let's configure our store right quick and um, change just a little bit too. Okay. All right, so let's change this real quick. Um, we're going to try to keep at all times, let's keep one stack. We're going to sell it 95% under market okay and um that'll help with people coming in but there's one other thing that we need to do to make people come in and we need a sign so we're going to go down here to customer satisfaction and uh, we're going to put a colorful sign out front and then i think this is an encounter that puts in the front so we can have people checked in and stuff uh, let's increase productivity as well and then we'll we'll get the uh, the counter put in, and just kind of be more efficient. Have somebody in the front at all times to greet our customers. Get a nice shave or a nice haircut, one of the two. I just wish we could see inside. Um, I think that feature it got removed because uh, they're not done with it yet. But hopefully that'll change because I, I, I really want to see what the inside looks like. 
So we're doing good. Um, I'm gonna let some time kind of roll by here real quick. Um, and uh, we'll kind of, I think we'll progress to the next part too. So we'll just let time fly by, see how much money we gain overnight. And then we'll start the next part. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. Peace, peace.